Hello. Every now and again on this channel I like to talk about animals, wildlife, the great outdoors. As part of that it's very important that we learn to coexist with nature, something that I'm very interested in and that's why you've seen me do a number of videos about animals. I've done videos about America's bird populations, British versus American pets. I like beautiful animals more than I like most people. And something that I learned this week from my crazy wild dreams but also the news is that animals don't come more beautiful than the spotted lanternfly. With a notable contrast of its red and neutral colours as well as its dazzling spots it really is so pleasing on the eye it's also destroying the United States of America. Okay calm down Lawrence you're being over the top. But that depends on your point of view because this inviting species is an invasive species. Indigenous to China, India, this lanternfly has been spotted in Japan, South Korea and the United States of America. And the casual observer might be watching this thinking, oh so what Lawrence, it's just a bug. Try telling that to the grapes that it's been eating. The spotted lanternfly is the worst thing to happen to grapes since Leonardo DiCaprio got stuck up that water tower. And they're not fussy eaters, right? Grapes are just an appetizer. They feed on a wide range of fruit, not to mention trees. That's not entire trees, is it? And a state that I recently visited will know all about the spotted lanternfly because Pennsylvania represented the first place they were detected in the United States. And you may remember that during my visit to Pennsylvania I pointed out the fact that I'd visited all of the states surrounding Pennsylvania and it turns out I'm not alone. So far the existence of the spotted lantern has been observed in Indiana, Ohio, Virginia, West Virginia, New York, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey and Connecticut. Now as the growing number of news articles on this subject would suggest the spotted lanternfly isn't going away anytime soon. And in all of the news articles I've read there's been one consistent message. That the spotted lanternfly is usually spread by humans unwittingly moving infested materials or items containing egg masses. And as if to add to the drama as if it's a Roland Emmerich film there have in fact been two recent close calls. In November of last year USDA workers detected several lanternflies in freight shipments in the state of Michigan. They were all dead. The lanternflies, not the USDA workers. And just this week a boy in Kansas made the news when he won a prize at the state fair for entering a dead lanternfly as a piece of art. Well done, well done. He's now under federal investigation. Again the lanternfly, not the child. But if living breathing versions of the spotted lanternfly are allowed to spread throughout the United States of America the USDA warns that this could have a serious impact on the grape, orchard and logging industries. So then what should we do? Well instead of spreading the spotted lanternfly spread this video far and wide to everybody that you know. Let them know that this isn't some sort of beautiful butterfly or a discount accessory from Claire's. And if you see one photograph it. A selfie is optional though not recommended. And then report it especially if you happen to be in a state that wasn't mentioned in this video. For more information on how to do that I will link to the USDA page on the spotted lanternfly in my description box below. Now the reason that this even got my attention to begin with is that state and federal officials are now urging the public to treat the lanternfly problem with utter ruthlessness by taking away its candy and also killing it. I will leave the moral implications of that up to you and while my wife is busy drinking a PSL this was my PSA. Let me know in the comments below if you've spotted the spotted lantern fly. I'm Lawrence Brown you can follow me on Twitter at Lost in the Pond US and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that my videos don't get lost in the pond. And a king size thank you to my patrons who make these videos possible. If you would like to become a patron of Lost in the Pond you can do so today at patreon.com slash lost in the pond. Until the next video goodbye.